we're doing this today, the Fractal Torrent Nano, which is something that I'm personally excited for because I'm overdue for a rebuild. Now, this one is white, which doesn't quite fit my needs. I'm more of a black case guy myself, but we're gonna get it out of the box, see what's inside, and see what the tiny version of the big boy looks like. I've got a patented foot brace technique. Oh. Okay, it's bigger than I thought it would be. I love this front grill. Big and open and kind of like brutalist is what they describe it as. It is hiding a huge, relatively, 180 mil fan. It's 38 mil thick. It's also got tempered glass side panel. Why this case is so important to me? Well, it's reasonably affordable. It still fits a hard drive. It'll fit like a 335 millimeter long graphics card. You can put five 120 mil fans in it if you wanted to, or you can fit the 180 up front, two 140s at the bottom, and a 120 at the back. So it's got tons of configuration options. It is just the right format of case for what I want to do. So I have a Thermaltake P1, which is like a wide boy, but it's kind of cubish. And I'm, I think it's time to go small, but vertical. I think this guy just lifts up. I don't know. Oh, there we are. Off she comes. We got a little box of accessories in here. What do we got? A bunch of zip ties and a wiping cloth and a low density polyethylene bag and a buttload of fasteners. And uh, I didn't even look at this guy. Ooh, these are the fan mount brackets. So if you want to run a rad or, or two 140 mil fans in this, you have to run these brackets. So you pull the 180 that's already pre-installed in out and this guy would go in and it comes with a bunch of thumb screws and all that jazz. I'm not going to be doing that, so I won't need these today because you know what, I'm using air cooling. And because I'm self-serving and I want to buy this case, I'm literally using the same hardware that I put in my own PC. So we've got a D15, have the same motherboard, have the same graphics card. We're gonna try and fit it in here as a, an analog to me upgrading my own PC. They say it's tool free and I see this guy but I don't know, I don't want to break it because, oh, there we go. So we have a filter on the bottom, nice. Filter on the front, similarly nice. Oh, front panel comes off, hey, there we go. Okay, so if you want to slide out this filter, easy. I have the same size fan in the front of my P1. It is large and it rotates slowly, so it generates less noise. But uh, we'll see how that sounds once we get it all together. Is it that time, Jono? Might be. Might be that time for our sponsor, Seasonic. Thanks to Seasonic for sponsoring today's short circuit. Seasonic's Prime TX1000 watt power supply is a good choice for high performance systems, featuring an 80 plus titanium rating, which means less power getting wasted during power conversion, which means savings in your wallet. It's fully modular with hybrid fan control and a fluid dynamic fan bearings for quiet operation. It comes with a 12 year warranty and learn more about them at seasonic.com or through the links below. And uh, I will be upgrading to one of these personally, so you should try it. I grabbed a random test bench, which is conveniently the same motherboard I have. I think it's got a Ryzen 2700 in it, ballistics 3600, 16 gigs. Now, normally I would have pre-assembled this, but I wanna talk about just how large this cooler is. This case supports a 165 millimeter cooler tower, which this conveniently is. Whether it will actually be able to close its door, I don't quite know. And similarly, this is a rather large graphics card. I think it's probably right around the limit of 335 mil that will fit in this case. It does appear to fit, barely. How its thermals will be, that remains to be seen. I mean, it is mesh down there, but there's no fans, because I mean, we're putting three fans right above it, why bother? I always do these in steps, because if you just tighten one, you're kind of putting a lot of load. And you, you want everything to spread out both directions too. Now I can drop this guy in. This thing fits a D15. Will it fit a D15 in a graphics card? That's a different story. Will she go? Come on. Look at that airflow just right out the back. That's a thing of beauty. So let's actually install it now. I might be making a fatal mistake if I screw this in before I put the fan on. There's no finger clearance in here to, to do that. No, Jono. Oh man, also it's gonna be impossible to get to this plug. So this four pin is going to be in there. There's no, no way. So I'm gonna clip the power supply into it now. Power supply goes up here. So this is the, the attic style. Oh, okay, okay. Some cables already pre-managed up here. 
that's gonna get trapped. So this is the hard drive sled. So you can mount a three and a half inch drive up here and one two and a half inch underneath it. We're gonna pull it out because I'm gonna have to deal with the cable management and then we can chuck a drive in it later. Cables are gonna tuck down here. So I'm gonna run that four pin. Click. Lovely. This cable will feed in here. Uh-oh. Will it not fit with the power supply already in there? Maybe if I use the split, feed the split end through. Yeah, that works. Oof, I almost had to deduct points there. This is gonna be a difficult wiring. Wow, it's tight. Yeah, so I guess my one complaint now is that with this cooler on, there is no seeing any of the wiring. And getting the fan back on there is non-trivial. Uh, what do we gotta get in here? We need to get the... 24 pin? Yeah, 24 pin has access. I'm thinking more, we've got RGB to plug in. The power header is... I don't think that's an RGB fan. No, it isn't, but there's RGB. There's a plug up here. We'll find out what's RGB. Oh, this is a bear. Oh, jeez. Ugh. I hate everything about how tight this is. Taking off the tick. Getting hot. LCDstore.com. Not anymore. At least not my head. Okay, so these first screws are always hard because you're pushing against the IO shield. Once you get like the two easy to access ones in, then you do the hard ones. So that's in. Let's do big power cable. Bah. I do like how there's room underneath where the hard drive is going to sit to jam all your cables. We're gonna have to get one in there for SATA. There are so many ports on this thing. You will not run out of power options. I forgot to mention, look at all the pre-done cable management. Now this one I'm gonna wrap up in zip tie here, but if you wanna run down and around, particularly for the smaller cables, easy. So I'm gonna loosen this cable bundle here. So up front we have one USB 3.1, so that's the 10 gig USB-C. Then we have two 3.0s, headphone and microphone ports separately. Reset and power. So ample IO up front. You can get other accessories. So if you wanna get a side panel that's not glass, you can buy that. You can do glass on, I think, both sides actually. I mean, if you're really proud of your cable management, you could do that. Okay, fine, I'll follow some of their handy dandy cable management. So we've been doing some wiring. Now they say it can fit a 200 millimeter long power supply, which it can, this is 160 mil. But if you try to use the stock placement for this hard drive sled, you end up hitting these plugs. Not great. Now, you can just move it over a little. And with a little bit of finesse, there is another slot for it. But where these cables come out, hits the tray. So we're gonna just have to wrangle these guys kind of up. I mean, that'll go back, that's fine, but then can also, can we still fit the hard drive? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah there's room, okay. Now it's time for, ba 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 a 3080 tough. So there are three bay slots back here, all without a frame, which is nice. These, that's the top two we're gonna be using, that's right. Wow, there's like, Nothing going on up here. Airflow. Airflow is going on, that's right. It like makes this neat little wind tunnel straight into it. I think this will actually perform really good. We've got an exhaust fan right behind the cooler. We've got fresh air coming in. It can get actually, and it'll pull fresh air up as well. By moving the power supply up to the top, we can use the bottom as an intake. So it'll work just fine in theory. Be very curious what the performance numbers will be. Unfortunately, we can't do that on short circuit. Okay, GPU in, we need GPU power. A few things to note, at least for my future build in this case, hopefully. All the fan headers are sitting up against the top of the case here, right under the power supply. So we had to remove the motherboard again, slide it back, put the fan headers in and move it up. So you're only gonna be doing the fans once. Do it ahead of time. Open up these cable management loops. Well, yeah, this is about the level of cable management I expected. Great on Fractal's part, bad on mine. 100% me. And after all of that cable management in here, I wouldn't say my finest work by any stretch, but let's start putting the panels back on. So this is the good part. Might be one of those bottom hingey boys. There we go. 
Okay, okay. Am I derping? Yeah, okay, it just goes over the back, that's all. And the all important peel time. Oh, we forgot the inside peel. They did include a support bracket. We didn't use it, but it's there. Look how we have full access to the GPU. There are these cable management wires here, so when you actually do run your cable up, or all of these cables, you can cable manage out, which is really nice. I think that's a nice feature. That's nice, right? You know, you get all your cables in there. Hey, it, it does look good in white. I think this with an RGB fan would be pretty cool. They do have an RGB fan version. Look at the front of that thing. And it's quiet too, like. I think this thing looks great and I'm definitely gonna get one, just not in white. So with that, thanks for watching this short circuit. If you like any of the parts you saw in this video, go check out the link below. And of course, get subscribed to Short Circuit. Maybe check out the Meshify C case we did from Fractal as well. And uh, I'll see you later.